What's going on everybody? Klepas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you some tips and tricks for the Krika Ovation 3 that you might not know about. Now before we go any further, as always, I do wanna remind you to hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But with that being said, Let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna show you is a quick way to get to your camera. Now opening the camera app on the home screen is easy enough, but if you're doing something else on your phone, like maybe you're browsing the web for example, there is a faster, more convenient way to do it. So no matter what you're doing on your phone, if you wanna quickly get to your camera, all you have to do is double press your power key like this. And as you can see, the camera opens right up. So we're gonna try that one more time. This time we're actually on a nap. And there we go. And one final time when the phone is locked. And there we go. So as you can see, real fast and convenient. So if you're ever doing something on your phone and you wanna capture a picture quickly in the moment, that shortcut's definitely a nice thing to know about. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to change your default apps. So this is gonna be for more basic functions like your browser, for example. By default, pretty much every Android phone, except for maybe Samsung, is gonna have Chrome as the default browser. But maybe you wanna use Firefox or maybe you never use the Messages app and instead you wanna use something like WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. I'm gonna show you how you can change all this. So what you're gonna do is go to settings, from here, go to apps. And from this menu, go to default apps. From here, you can change the default app for your browser, assistant, home screen, phone, and messages. Now I'm gonna show you how to show and hide the battery percentage on the status bar. Now, as you can see up here, by default, the battery percentage is gonna show, which is definitely nice in a way, because of course it gives you a better idea of where you're at battery-wise. But if you wanna make your status bar look a little bit more minimalistic, I'm gonna show you how you can hide this. So what you're gonna do is go to settings. From here, go to battery. And as you can see by default, battery percentage is gonna be on, but if you wanna hide it, toggle this off. And now as you can see, the battery percentage is no longer up here. But that being said, another thing I do wanna point out is that if you do wanna make the status bar look like this, but you still wanna know your battery percentage from time to time, all you really have to do is pull down the shade like this, and it's always gonna be up here no matter what. Now I'm gonna show you a quick way to silence your phone. This is definitely a useful shortcut if you need to quickly turn off your sound. Maybe you're going into a meeting, movie, something like that, and you wanna make absolute sure that your phone is not gonna make any noise. Now technically, the shortcut for this is pressing the power key and the volume up key at the same time, but by default, if we do that, it's gonna be opening the power menu instead. So I'm gonna show you how you can change the settings so we can actually get this shortcut. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to settings. From here, go to system. From this menu, go to gestures. And we're gonna have to change a couple different things here. First of all, with this phone, by default, when you press and hold the power key, instead of opening the power menu, it's gonna open the assistant instead. And in case you're wondering, that's actually the reason why the default setting for pressing the power key and the volume up key is opening the power menu. So we're gonna change this by going to press and hold power button. And as you can see, by default, hold for assistant is gonna be on. So we're gonna turn this off. And now when you press and hold the power button, it's gonna open the power menu instead. And now that we've changed that, go back to the main gesture menu. And as you can see right here, once you turn off the assistant feature, prevent ringing turns on automatically. So now when you press the power key and the volume up key, instead of opening the power menu, it's gonna put your phone in vibrate instead. So let's give it a try. And there we go. And if you don't wanna put your phone in vibrate, maybe you wanna mute it instead. What you're gonna do is go here. And as you can see again, it is gonna to go to vibrate by default, but if you want, you can switch it to mute. So let's try it one more time. And as you can see, it's now in mute. Now I'm gonna show you how to use split screen. Now this is a real easy feature to use, but it's also pretty easy to overlook. So to use split screen, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open the first app, basically whichever one you want on top. So I'm gonna to go to Chrome. Now from here, go to your recent apps. Press and hold your finger on the icon. And as you can see, split screen is right here. And now from here, select your bottom app. And now as you can see, we are in split screen. Then from here, you can also resize it. Or if you want one app to take over, you can slide this all the way up or all the way down. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to access your NFC settings. Now, I was actually pretty surprised to find out this phone does have NFC in the first place. And luckily, like any phone that has NFC, the settings for the feature are really easy to get to. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is pull down the shade like this. One more time. From here, go to settings. From this menu, go to connected devices. Then from here, go to connection preferences. And NFC is right here. From here, you can turn NFC on and off. And as you can see right here, when NFC is on, this icon is always gonna be up here. But of course, when you turn it off, it's gonna go away. Then from here, you can go to contactless payments. By default, it is on Google Pay. But if you want, you can also change it. Now, one other quick thing I do wanna point out here is that if you just wanna simply turn NFC off for whatever reason, you don't actually have to go to your settings. All you actually have to do is pull down the shade like this. 
and NFC is going to be in this menu. So right here, so you can turn it off from here. Now I'm going to show you a feature called Adaptive Brightness. Now technically with this phone, it is on by default, but I personally turned it off because I don't really like it. But if you do want it on, or maybe you want to turn it off, what you're going to do is go to Settings. From here, go to Display. Then from here, as you can see, Adaptive Brightness is right here. And again, I personally have it off. I'm just really not a big fan of how it works on this phone. But if you do want it on, again, it is going to be on by default. But if you turn it off and you want to turn it back on, this is where you're going to do it. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to make a screen recording. This is a real easy feature to use. What you're going to do is pull down the shade twice. So one, two, go to the second page. From here, go to screen record start. It's going to have a couple different settings here. So first of all, the audio. By default, it is going to be off. But if you want audio, you can always turn it on. The default setting here is device audio. So if you're maybe recording a video, game, something like that, you can also go to microphone. So maybe you want to narrate it or you can have it do both. In addition to this, we also got show touches on screen. So if you turn this on, it's going to show a cursor on the screen wherever you touch. Once you're done with the settings, hit start. There's going to be a countdown up here. And now we are recording. So you can do whatever you want. There's the cursor right there. And when you're done, hit stop. And it's going to be saved right to your photos. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to customize your quick menu. Now, in case you don't know what it is, the quick menu is this menu right up here. Definitely real convenient for accessing certain features, and you can customize it pretty easily. To customize it, hit the pencil icon right here. In the top portion right here is going to be everything you have on the menu currently, and below this line, it's going to show what you can add. So if you want to remove something, press and hold on the icon, and then drag it to the other side. So there we go, and if you want to add something, do the same thing. When you're done, you can simply hit the back button. And if you want to reset it, hit these dots right here. Hit reset. And now it's going to be back to the default. And finally, the last thing I'm going to show you is a feature called lift to wake. Now by default, when you turn off your display, put your phone down and pick it back up. It's not going to do anything, but I'm going to show you how to make the display automatically turn on whenever you pick it up. So what we're going to do is go to settings. From here, go to display. From this menu, go to Advanced, and Lift to Wake is right here. Toggle it on. And now if you lock the display, whenever you pick up your phone, the display is automatically going to turn on. But this concludes my tips and tricks video for the Cricut Ovation 3. Again, if you want to learn more about this phone, I will be linking to several other videos about it in the description, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipas Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.